Let's kick off the series with one of my favorite patterns, the singleton pattern. Want to know what a singleton is and why it's not bad for most of you? Keep watching and I show you why it's one of the best patterns for solo game devs. First, let's clarify what a singleton is. A singleton is a design pattern that does two things. It makes a script globally accessible and ensures only one instance of it exists. Sounds useful, right? Well, it is. But you might have heard that many game devs are skeptical about singletons. The pros are obvious, but what about the cons? And why do some developers dislike them? We'll get to that later. Let's first see how to use this pattern. At the end of the video, I'll explain why singletons aren't as bad as people say and why you should use them. Oh, and by the way, a like and a sub would really help me out. Thanks. In C Sharp, a singleton means that the class holds a static instance of itself and has a private constructor. The static instance lets you access the class from anywhere and the private constructor makes sure no other instance can be created externally. But in Unity it works a bit differently. While you can use a standard C Sharp singleton, you often want mono behavior functionality. So let's create a new script called singleton. It will be an abstract class with a generic type T and we must ensure that T is a mono behavior as well. Then we define a static instance with a public getter and a private setter. In awake we set instance to this as T. But first we check if instance is already set. If it is we destroy the duplicate and exit awake early. We also use on application quit to reset instance and destroy the object when the game closes. That's it. This script makes any mono behavior a singleton. Now let's see it in action. I have two scripts here, audio manager and player. An audio manager should only exist once and be accessible from everywhere so we make it inherit from singleton. The generic type must match the class, so for audio manager it's audio manager. The audio manager has a public method playsound and in the player script inside start we call audio manager dot instance dot playsound. That's it, the player can now trigger sounds from anywhere. Just attach audio manager to a game object and another game object for the player. Run the game and you'll see it works. But let's take it a step further. What if we need a singleton that persists across scenes? For example, Audio Manager should work in all scenes without resetting. To do this, we go back to our singleton script and create a new abstract class called Persistent Singleton. We override awake and add Don't Destroy on Load game object. Now the singleton persists when changing scenes. That's cool. You now know how to use the singleton. But let's talk about why some developers don't like singletons. Some say they make the code harder to track in larger projects because multiple people made access them, making dependencies unclear. Testing is another issue. Code with singletons is harder to unit tests. But let's be real. Most Unity devs don't write unit tests. And here's the thing. You are a solo dev, right? Most of you aren't working in big teams. In large companies where many people work on the same projects, singleton can cause problems. But for solo and hobby devs, they are a massive time saver. Your scope is small enough that the usual downsides don't matter. And of course, if you ever find that singletons become more of a problem than a solution, you can look into alternatives. Maybe I'll cover that in a future video. But for now, use the singleton. It works, it's easy and it saves you time. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and see you next time.